let's say that this is breaking right here and so I'm gonna put my underwater color so these are my underwater colors that I put in and I'm gonna say I'm just gonna paint over this so I'm saying it's coming down this way and I'm gonna add a little bit of my dark color there's some dark color under the water here the wave has, has depth to it and as it curls around it gets thinner thinner as it as it curls there on the top well I added a little too much water to that and the underside of that water that's curling over reflects light probably even more so than the top side so I can take my reflection color that was the wrong color I just dipped in I'll just use pure white and I'll start not from the top of it but from down here because this is where that under layer of, <laughs> I don't know what you call it, the underside of the water is curling up and catching the reflection of the sky So then the brightest part of it is at the top, the top of that area. This is my reflection color, this light blue. So this is actually a darker color than this reflection. This is where I'll make this reflection. And, you know, maybe it helps if, if I let this all dry first, but I'm just going to just put it all together. Ooh, that looks nice. And then my foam color, I'm just using the same colors I used up in my sky for foam. It's crashing down here, so I'll make it piling up, and I'll just make it gradually change. Uh, where was my shadow color? Right here. And then all of this foam here just gradually transitions into this. See, and then it can crash here, and then where the light catches it, I'll make it brighter. So I'll use this bright color and make it piling up here a little bit. These are the same colors for the foam that I use when I'm painting clouds. This would be the cloud shadow color. It's just a blue, a red, and a white with a little bit of black in it. And I don't always use the black when I'm doing clouds, but in this stormy scene I did use a little black. Then the light color is just blue and white and a little bit of red. And I can use pure white also, but this I want to be in the shadows a little bit. So this still has some of the blue and red, but, but I can also... Here, I'll just put some of my pure white on there. Where did that go? Right here. Pure white makes real nice highlights. Then I can make that darker foam color with the shadow color and the light color mixed together. And then I can curl it underneath this to really give it dimension, to give it shape, you know. See, so it has that nice curled shape and then you know, I can put a shadow under the where it's crashing right here. All kinds of shadows and highlights when you're doing foam and clouds, things like that. You know, they're so similar. Make some of this foam coming up here, probably make some blocking out this area because I need to connect it with with this up here. I want it to look like one one big piece of water just blasting off the edge here. I can make these same foam patterns strung across the top of this to finish it off. So I'll make some strings of it following the path here like it got pulled down real fast and stretched way out. Trick to making this foam look natural is making it look like there's a bunch of shapes in the middle of it pushing it apart, leaving strands that are getting pulled apart just like polyester filling. I'm being more conscious of the negative space of the blue water than I am 
of the white foam that I'm painting. It's a storm. Could be anything. Let's just put a bunch of white water and call it a splash.